everybody, and welcome to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I hope you will find interesting, entertaining, motivating, but always encouraging. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, we I have to introduce you to my friend. She is so awesome. Her name is Holly Kyle. She is out of Indianapolis, Indiana. She is the owner of HJK Global, which basically means Holly is a VA, a virtual assistant. What's going on, Miss Holly? Hey, Miss Ricky. Thank you so much for having me. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I, I just can't even tell you. I was like, today's the day. <laughs> and I'm excited that you're here. First of all, everybody, let me help you understand something. Holly and I are friends. So anything that goes on from here on out, remember, we are friends. Now, for those of you except all for me, one day a year except for one i was just gonna say i am an alabama football fan holly kyle is an auburn football fan yeah so one day a year we are not on the same side that's true you know but i still love her desperately but, but I want to smash them in the dirt and, so, and vice versa so y'all just remember we are friends so yes. that being said miss holly Talk yes, to right. me about what is a virtual assistant? What is that? Um, well, so it's, it's a big mystery, actually. Um, okay. So virtual assistants have actually truly been around since the mid-90s. And okay. uh, they, they came about when uh, working with coaches. So the, the founder of International Coach Federation was working with a woman who was stationed out of her home, and he just one day called her a virtual assistant. And so that was really kind of the birth of what VAs were as a term. Mm -hmm. But really, I, you know, I don't like the term, if I'm being honest, because it doesn't really explain what a VA is. So the way I explain what a VA is, a VA is a partner in a business owner's business, so an entrepreneur's business. They are a partner to help you succeed. And they do that by kind of doing things usually in the back end. So they might help with managing your contacts, your database. They might help with doing updates on your website. They might do help with marketing, social media. There's all different kinds of VAs. So for as many things as you can think about, there's a VA for it. There are VAs for different industries. So real estate VAs, coach VAs, um, entertainment VAs, legal VAs. Wow medical VA. So any kind of industry you can think of, there is a virtual assistant for it. But then there are also special virtual assistants that are based on skill. So technical, marketing, um, you know, administrative, sales. There's, so there's all kinds of, so uh, really at its core, anybody who works from home to mm -hmm. support another business is technically a virtual assistant. You assist another business virtually. However, it's much more sophisticated than a lot of people think about. It's not a virtual secretary. Because I was going to say, is it a secretary yeah. type deal? No. And, mm -hmm. and for anybody who thinks it is and goes into it to do that or to hire that, mm -hmm. you're, you're going to be mistaken and you're going to be upset. Um, and so, because it's so much more than that, it does take some skills. It's okay. not, it's not for everybody. And we'll talk about that. I know, but sure. um, it really is much more than just a secretary. So okay. um, for instance, I'll just give you kind of a breakdown of my day. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been doing this a long time. So anybody who just start, let me just tell you, this is not what your day today would look like. My day 10 years ago was very different. But today I um, published a website that I built. I added some people to a contact database. I crafted a marketing funnel. I set up email reminders to go out. I created a newsletter. I published two podcasts. I edited two videos. And that was just before lunch. So um, it, I, it's all kinds of different things. Now, wow. I've built a business because those are all things I like to do. Mm -hmm. When I first started, though, let's be honest, I didn't have a clue. I, sure. I had no idea what I was doing. There was nothing out there telling me I took a job to work from home mm -hmm. and, and then found out later what I would be doing. And I was scared to death. I went out, first book I went out and bought was WordPress for dummies. Cause I didn't know what a blog was. I didn't even have right. a Facebook account. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. So I share that because I started not knowing what I was doing right. and 
and I've done well. So, well, let me uh, ask you this then, Holly. So, being a VA, who would who would hire you? Who who needs or who uses a VA? Yeah, so that's a great question because right now there is an incredible resurgence and and uplift of people who want and need VA. So this is like okay. ideal timing uh, because the world has gone virtual. And so uh, traditionally speaking, before COVID-19, people that would hire a VA uh, life coaches, consultants, speakers, um, you know, lawyers will often have a home office and they'll hire a VA to help them. Mm -hmm. um, marketing companies, people, uh, pretty much anybody uh, that, mm -hmm. that really works from home or works uh, from the road and, and really does not have a physical location to have somebody sitting at a desk, mm -hmm. right? Then a VA is appropriate. Um, as far as uh, when do you know, right? That's really kind of the second piece of that question. If you find yourself up at night, late at night, doing the invoicing, the follow-up emails, the spending four hours doing a newsletter because you don't know what the heck you're doing in MailChimp. Um, I know people watching this are going, uh-huh, that's me. That's yeah. Me. It's that it's time. It's time yeah. to hire a VA. When you spend more time working on the things to run your business rather than doing the thing that you're brilliant at, mm -hmm. it's time to hire an, a VA. That's wow. Really, that is so huge. That's the easiest way. Yeah. Because a lot of us that start our businesses, we start the business because we love that thing that we want to do. We don't necessarily enjoy the invoicing, the blogging, the creating websites, the minding our social media. We don't want to do that. We want to do the thing that we started the business to do. Exactly. And, and I think most people hire a VA much later uh, yeah. than they really should. I, I've never had a single client who hasn't said this to me. I should have done this sooner. Yeah. Right. Oh, and I'm so sure. if, if you are spending, here's kind of the formula that I say, if you're spending more than 20% of your time on back end stuff, then it's too much. You wow. should have help. Yeah. Definitely. The That's other too. thing is mm -hmm. you don't have to hire a VA full time right? You can hire a VA for 10 hours a month. 90% mm -hmm. of my clients only mm -hmm. hire me for 10 hours a month and that's plenty. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you do. have to fill somebody's time up with 40 hours a week, which is a beautiful thing about being, about hiring a VA because you're like, I only need five hours a month, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So that's only going to cost you at, if you get a top end VA, five mm -hmm. hours a month is 250 bucks generally. Wow, right. That's awesome. So well, then you, you get help for not a lot of money. Exactly. And that's great for your expense account. Well, thinking about that, you know, who then would look to be a VA? I mean, because how do you do that? Can I just decide today I'm going to be a VA? Well, you can decide that. Um, <laughs> it, it, it may not work out real well for you. So typically, you know, everybody thinks that, oh, we're, we're, you know, we work from home and we get to, we get to do our laundry. We can watch our kids. We can, mm. you know, we can lunch with friends. And sure. you know what? I do those things mm -hmm. from time to time. Right. But it's just like any other job I've had. I get up, I get ready for work. I show up in my office. I have right. a dedicated office mm -hmm. from nine and I work till five or six or seven, right? I probably mm -hmm. work more hours as a VA than I worked in an office. Right. Um, and, and so if, if you're somebody who really a wants or needs to work from home, that's really kind of the first step, right? Does sure. that, is that going to fit your lifestyle? Mm -hmm. Can you create a dedicated space and time to do the work, right? Mm -hmm. Is it, is it work or is it a hobby? If it's a hobby, don't right. do it because yeah. you as a VA are responsible for helping another business owner and that's their livelihood. I take that very seriously. And so, you know, you have to remember, it's not just about a check that you're getting. You're really responsible for helping that business owner survive. And, and so if you really take that mindset, mm -hmm. it, you, you will go far. That's okay. really having that kind of indication saying, you know what? I'm here to help. I'm here to partner with mm -hmm. a business owner. I'm mm -hmm. not here to work in my jammies, although I do. <laughs> I, I did a whole day worth of call yesterday. All right. in my jammies. 
and You're right. it's fine. You know, we were laughing before we started recording. Okay. I have hair that's all over the place today. I make a six figure income. It doesn't matter. I what love that. Does. Wait, you have to stop a second. So you mean to tell me you have hair that wants to be an individual. Yes. And you are sitting at home in your jammies in your dedicated space, being fabulous, talking to me, and you're making six figures doing what you do. Yep. I am. And I'm not eating bonbons and, <laughs> and I'm really not sweating a whole lot. Right. I yeah, get to do yeah, what I, I do and I love what I do. I love, first of all, I, I get to work with several different people. That's one of the great things. I, I've gotten to create a business of doing the things that I love to do. Right. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love to create marketing plans. I wow. don't, I really don't love to do the minutia. You know, there are people that love to research. There are VAs sure. that that's their thing. It's not mm -hmm. me. It makes my eyeballs bleed. Uh, spreadsheets <laughs> yeah. make my eyeballs bleed. There are VAs that do QuickBooks, right? Yeah. And that's all they do. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not me. I could do it, but yeah. I don't want, to, don't want to, right? And so mm -hmm. I think, you know, talking to people that are just getting started, you know, they're too quick to say, I'll take anybody that'll hire me, right? Sure, sure. Be a little more, you know, protective of your talent mm -hmm. and your time yeah. and, and do things that you get joy out of because here's the beauty of it, Ricky, when you work with a business owner who is doing what they love and right. you're doing what you love, both of you for success. Oh my gosh. It's yeah. amazing. I've yeah. seen, you know, I, I work with six figure clients mm -hmm. because I'm a six figure VA. Sure. Right. And so I love that. I have that, I've had that mindset all along. Right. You know, you, know, you want to be an $8 an hour VA? That's, that's fine. You mm -hmm. know, I don't, there's no judgment there. Right. I didn't get into this to be rich, right. but I did get into this so that I could create a lifestyle mm -hmm. that, that gave me what I wanted. And I, you know, and what I was looking for was more time, more money, more freedom. Right. So I wanted to be, you know, a, a carpool mom. I wanted to be able to go pick my son up instead of yeah. putting him in after school care. That was important for me, which meant I had to be done by three o'clock. Right. And so uh, if you really, for those people who think, gosh, I'm, I, I could do that. I could work from home mm -hmm. before you even say I'm doing it. Think about what you would like to do right. and really focus on doing that work. And, oh my gosh. and you know, I, I often will tell people if it's something that you think you would like to do, do it for somebody for free. Right. Yeah. To mm -hmm. start out. Best you know, way to and, find and out. Call, you know, Ricky, I really want to do social media. Can uh -huh. I do your business social media for a month to mm -hmm. see if I even like it? Yeah. No, no cost. I'll just I would do jump it. on that too. Right. I it's, do my own right now. I would and you love hate that. it. You oh hate my it. gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. But I'm here's, learning. I'm learning here's to a do secret. what only yeah. I can do. If you love social media and mm -hmm. you want to work from home, you will never go hungry as a social media VA. I never. Bet. Never go hungry, right? You know what, Holly? I mean, this, this conversation could go on forever. But hey, you guys, look, while you're here, matter of fact, subscribe to our YouTube channel and then make sure to leave us, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. And just so you know, all of Holly's information or contact information is going to be in the description below. You will be able to reach her, reach out to her, talk to her, connect with her, ask her more questions. Because as you can tell, as you can tell, she is so excited about what she does. She's good at it and she's willing to share the information, which I love so much about my friend who is not an Alabama fan. Moving on. Well, so you know. Holly, that being said, my friend, we are going to play a game. Are you ready? See? No, I'm not ready. Be ready, I, girl. Here I was ready is. for everything else, but this has been so much stress. So, oh, girl, okay. In and okay. Out. So I'm this ready. game is called This or That. I'm going to give you a choice between two things and off the top of your curly little head, my darling, you just tell me which one you like the best. How okay. about that? Okay. Bring it. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Batman or Captain America? Batman. Oh, my girl. Going to the movies or movies at home? Going to the movies. Make the call or send the text? Go make the call. Snickers or Three Musketeers? Snickers. All right. Dressing up or dressing down? Dressing down. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Cats. Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve? 
Thanksgiving for sure. Yeah. Fry it or grill it. Oh, uh, my Southern girl. Got to fry it. That's my girl right there. Fry <laughs> everything. Morning person or night owl? Morning person. Ah, and finally, what is your favorite Olympic sport? Swimming. Interesting. I love I love that. swimming. That is Although so I really do like gymnastics too, but yeah. swimming. We, we swimming. you know. Go with swimming. I, my son hey. was a swimmer, and so we, we kind of followed it then, and, and there you go. Uh, we love it. See, I, I like curling. That's my favorite sport. But anyway, Holly, oh, thank you so much for joining us. It is amazing what you do. But here's the thing. What is the one thing that you want re people really to know about being a VA, about what a virtual assistant is and who should do it? What, what would be your greatest advice for that? Yeah, I think my biggest advice would be if it's something that, you know, would work for your lifestyle, explore it. And and don't be limited by what you think it is because it's what you make it. Um, I am opening up a pay what you can VA training uh, at unicornva.com. And so, you know, I, I go, if, if a dollar is what you want to pay for it, that's fine. There's, you know, I didn't have a nickel to rub together uh, when I got started. So I just do do it, explore it. It's the best job. I ever did really and and it's been everything I wanted it to and more I've gotten to meet some amazing people because of it you being one of them um, and you know it's just it's a lot of fun and I've learned a ton so I, I think it's wonderful it's not for everybody but uh, and like you said my email is right down below that's please, right please email me I am happy to answer questions and she really will y'all she yep. is not kidding she is a wealth of information and she wants to share because she's passionate about it. And if it's something you think you really want to do, please reach out. Don't make it up. Somebody already has. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I totally appreciate it. Holly, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Ricky. Everybody, we will see you next time on Extra.